from Sardinia, where we are based right now. And uh, we hope you will enjoy this uh, new talk, this, this new episode. Yes, tonight we are going to talk about healing again, but not this time connected to waters, but connected to earth energies, because earth energies can be healing as well, just as waters. But usually uh, people don't know much about uh, this possibility that Mother Earth has to heal while it is uh, more common to know about waters. So tonight we are going to introduce you um, into this um, new topic, into this new dimension of Earth energies and healing. Yes, yes. And especially because in Sardinia there used to be a tradition of healing using earth energies. We have to say that in Sardinia, in ancient times, and here I am talking about a very long time ago, starting from 7000 BC, uh, there was uh, a very uh, deep knowledge of uh, healing. Um, and uh, this uh, tradition, uh, as I was just saying, was not only healing through um, herbs or through uh, waters, as we were just saying, but also energies from Mother Earth. And this is what we want you to discover tonight. So we will show you some of the places where you can actually have healing thanks to Mother Earth, but uh, we are also going to talk really about this kind of, of healing. What was it about? And is it still possible to practice today this healing? And of course, we are um, saying hello to all the people connected. Thanks for watching. So, um, we'll start with the show, tonight's yes. show. Yes. Uh, here we are uh, with this PowerPoint of tonight. Um, as you will, uh, as you know, probably already know, we are um, made of energy. But uh, what is energy? What are we really made of? Um, actually, uh, thanks to um, a, dis a recent discovery um, by Einstein and uh, other scientists. Um, they found out that actually um, everything that is matter can emit, uh, um, do emit energies and um, what uh, some kinds of energies can uh, manifest themselves as uh, um, matter. So um, actually dualism in physics uh, uh, between uh, matter and energy is just fading out. This is an um, incredible um, discovery that actually started a new era in physics, um, started the era that is called now um, quantum physics, because actually um, energy, um, especially electromagnetic energy, um, can manifest itself as a uh, um, small quantum of, an, um, of matter. Um, so, um, photons were discovered thanks to this uh, theory um, that was discovered. Um, quantum 
uh, particles are actually some small quantities of energy manifested um, in um, particles which are matter and again everything that is matter can produce energy because the Einstein uh, Maxwell sorry Maxwell found out that actually um, our body um, emits these small quantities of energy quantum particles called uh, um, yeah um, this kind of particles so um, that is why military uh, people can see um, people at night with their special military grade uh, glasses those glasses actually um, allow um, military people to see um, these small particles of energy emitted by us people um, so that is our aura yes <laughs> and, and this is a, 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 absolutely a scientific discovery so um, science already know that uh, we are producing and emitting energy what you see are the um, actually the different uh, part of us different uh, frequencies we actually are emitting yes and in ancient times there was a different way to perceive things and nature around us people were very very psychic they used their uh, very subtle perception uh, because people were uh, highly sensitive in those days and for this reason uh, they experienced that everything is energy and that the different kinds of energies and frequencies are interconnected so um, they, they really had this kind of awareness and for this reason to them it was very easy to connect with everything around them they were really part of nature they felt part of nature and uh, they connected as I was just saying very very easily And actually, if we think about uh, some of the traditions coming from uh, ancient history, if we think about the Chinese, they, they knew about uh, meridians, or for example, mm -hmm. uh, the chakras uh, come from uh, the tradition from India, for example. But this kind of knowledge was really everywhere because of this different perception uh, that ancient people had. And here in this picture, uh, which was uh, taken with a camera uh, that is very sensitive and can actually um, imprint um, the subtle energies around us and our own energy here you can see how wide uh, our energy field is and this was taken as I was saying with a special camera and it was taken in a place of a very high vibrational energy and so the two energies uh, merge together and they create uh, this field uh, as you see around the person which is really very very wide mm -hmm. and very beautiful but everything in nature emits a kind of energy because everything mm -hmm. is vibration everything is energy so it is the same for example with a tree with a leaf of a tree with fruits and with rocks and they emit a kind of energy and um, in the beginning of last century in Russia um, a scientist called Kirlian 
managed to create a camera that uh, was able to uh, imprint this kind of energy, mm -hmm. as we can see here. Yeah, and sometimes the subtle energies that are all around us are energies that we can perceive if we somehow um, connect uh, with our body and we meditate or we just have a, a deeper attention to what is around us and we can perceive something happening within our self and in our body and sometimes uh, cameras can actually um, even if they are not special cameras but mm -hmm. they can imprint this kind of subtle energy and this is a beautiful photograph that was taken some years ago here in Sardinia in a place of very high energy and here you can see a flux of energy uh, that was coming out from the soil and reaching upwards. And as you can see, it is really a column of energy. And this was taken in a small church. And ancient churches uh, were always built uh, using very old criteria of uh, sacred architecture. And sacred archi architecture was based on energies because in a in sacred architecture it was very very important uh, to make the place vibrant so that when you entered that place you felt you were in a place that um, belonged to uh, gods and goddesses it was not our uh, daily place uh, where you live daily, but it was something really, uh, something really special. And for this reason, um, sometimes if you're lucky with your camera, you can actually imprint the energy of these places, of very old churches, for example. As you can see, this is a very beautiful column of energy with beautiful colors like uh, uh, light blue and you have golden you have uh, pink and of course it shows that the energy is really very positive positive. and um, this picture was taken mm -hmm. again in a place of energy uh, as you can see it is a cave it is a place in Sardinia, a place that has a very high vibration. And for this reason, in places with a high frequency, high vibration, uh, many times it is quite easy to perceive our aura. And this is the case, as you can see, and we can tell you this is not a special camera. It was not taken with any kind of filter, just a normal camera. And you can actually see uh, the energy coming out from this person's hands. Which are, again, uh, uh, photons emitted by us. Yeah, and in Sardinia there used to be uh, a knowledge about uh, the subtle energies and the subtle energies coming from Mother Earth. And uh, this knowledge uh, was so deep that uh, they managed to build uh, thousands and thousands of monuments connected with the healing with the energies of mother Earth. and this kind of monument uh, is what nowadays is known as the giant's graves and in sardinia there are nowadays the ruins of about 800 giant's graves so it is really a big enormous number mm -hmm. And this, um, and the giant's grave was actually the place for healing 
in uh, the period going in between 2000 BC and um, 238 BC uh, when then the Romans conquered the island. It was their place for healing rituals. And here we see a reconstruction of uh, a giant's grave. We actually know that the giant's graves were used for healing because much later on in the 5th century BC, the Greeks arrived to the island and um, because they had trades and cultural uh, connections and they were very much impressed by some healing practices that were common in those days in Sardinia. And the Greeks tell us that um, the Sardinians used to go to very special places, especially uh, the giants of the heroes, as they call them, and people would uh, spend five days and five nights in order to get a healing, and after that they would wake up and it seemed to them that time hadn't passed by. So this is actually something that we have as a report from the Greeks. Mm -hmm. And here you see um, one of the most beautiful giant's graves of Sardinia in the area of Arzacena. Still quite well preserved. It was partly restored, mm -hmm. but it is very well preserved anyway. Uh, you see, stones are really huge. Yeah. The ritual was also connected to uh, asking uh, their ancestors about the healing. So there was uh, um, a psychic connection during um, the five days and five night rituals. Um, so um, ancestors would uh, appear in their dreams, uh, giving um, suggestions about how to obtain that healing. Or um, their ancestors could, uh, with their um, ultra-dimensional powers, heal directly uh, the person which was asking the who was asking healing. Actually, uh, healing uh, with earth energies was a common practice in those days. It was not typical only of Sardinia. But uh, we can find it, for example, in uh, Greece, actually, because healing uh, was a practice uh, that was common in the temples devoted to the ancient god Asclepius. Or, for example, in the temples of ancient Egypt, there used to be a courtyard uh, devoted to healing. And... Uh, the Egyptians used to pray and ask for healing um, to Himotep, the first architect and the first doctor of uh, Egypt. Um, Himotep uh, is actually a very, very ancient uh, figure of uh, Egypt. And he, he said to have built one of the oldest pyramids, the Pyramid of Saqqara. But also we have, for example, evidence of small statues found in the island of Malta uh, showing women lying down. And probably uh, those were priestesses uh, absorbing energies from Mother Earth. So we know that in very old days, people would go uh, to caves, would uh, go there for healing purposes, sleeping in caves and absorbing uh, the natural uh, beneficial energies in there. 
Um, here we have another picture of another giant's grave of Sardinia. This is, uh, as you see, very, very well preserved. And uh, you see that uh, behind um, stones that are uh, like, you know, semicircle. Uh, semicircle. Um, there is a sort of very small hill, and that is the part where uh, the burials uh, were put. And here we have. Um, this is the corridor, corridor of another giant's grave. This is in Olbia. Um, so the corridor Ariana was talking about uh, behind the hemicycle uh, was made like this. This is a small perspective. And as you can see, actually uh, giant's graves are very, very old because there are some examples of uh, giant's graves, like this one, um, which are made like um, um, the origin of this giant's grave was uh, a very big dolmen. So, as you can see, uh, this corridor is made uh, with three stones and another three stones uh, and another three stones put in line. Uh, so, um, originally, it, the giant's grave was a dolmen, a um, multiple dolmen, a very long dolmen, uh, used to, um, because it was used uh, for uh, many um, burials. So, when uh, the dolmen was full, they just added uh, um, some dolmens in order to continue. The um, after some time it became a giant's grave so they changed the, the kind of architecture but um, original it is a dolmen which is um, a monument that you can find uh, all over uh, Europe uh, used, uh, used for burials and for contacting uh, the, um, the ancestors in those days, and anyway, in the vision of uh, the Sardinian people in ancient times, death was not uh, the end of everything, mm -hmm. but it was just like a transit into a different dimension, a different life. And so it was a place, uh, consider a place of eternal life. For this reason, um, it is not strange to think that people would come uh, at uh, a burial place in order to get a healing. The two things were somehow connected because it was the place of eternal life. Here we see another beautiful uh, giant's grave, a very old one. And this one is the one in Palau. And uh, yes, um, when we started to um, investigate about these ancient rituals, our uh, question was, uh, okay, the ancients would go to these places for healing. Was it just because they had a belief? Was it because it was the place of their ancestors and they would pray there? Um, or... Um, was there actually something, something tangible uh, that helped a healing? Or was it only a ritual, uh, the ritual taking place, having an effect? And what we have found out all, over the years during our research is that the healing, apart from the ritual that had, of course, a role uh, within uh, the healing of the people, pilgrims who would go there, actually there is something in the place, a kind of, uh, uh, using a modern word, a kind of energy, a subtle energy, working there, helping uh, with healing. Yes, and uh, actually uh, the flux of energy um, is actually um, 
flux of magnetic energy working here and helping the healing is actually right uh, in the center of the monument. So let's think about the architect um, deciding to build a giant's grave. First of all, he would look for um, a spot with a very high magnetic energy, higher than usual. And there, having found this uh, spot of magnetic energy, this flux of magnetic energy, would then decide to build the monument. Um, there was actually a person that had uh, this um, special uh, gift to feel uh, the energy coming from Mother Earth. And as for the giant's graves, in many cases, um, the giant's graves are also connected uh, with the sun at the equinoxes because most giant's graves look towards the east. And for this reason, uh, they are aligned at the equinoxes uh, to the sun. And this is a way to recharge uh, during uh, the year, the cycle of the year, to recharge the monument. Um, here you have uh, a picture taken with an infrared camera uh, at night at the Limizzani Giant's Grave. So, um, to check out um, if there was uh, really something that could be uh, healing uh, for our body, we decided not only to use uh, um, dowsing, ancient dowsing technique to um, measure this energy, but also we decided to use some machinery, some tools, uh, scientific tools. This is one of the best pictures we took um, that time. As you can see, um, there is a production of photons inside um, the small arch you saw on um, the picture. Uh, it was uh, um, at night, so um, those photons were not emitted by the light of the sun, uh, but really they were emitted by um, the fusion of the earth energies with the sky energy received uh, by the stele, uh, which is in granite. And the granite stone actually is uh, piezoelectric and diamagnetic, so it has. Uh, properties of uh, transmission of uh, electricity and energy from the sky. So uh, this is really what happens at the giant's grave there. Um, sky and earth energies melting, mixing together to produce a series of um, subatomic particles, uh, which um, we receive when we uh, lay down in a giant's grave to have a therapy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. literally. Uh, we are uh, constantly um, hit, bombarded by the subatomic uh, particles and energy particles, which uh, can have a very strong effect uh, on our body. Uh, as you will know, in um, hospitals they are uh, experimenting now with uh, magnetotherapy, with uh, fluxes of uh, energies along the body um, and other new techniques, very similar techniques actually. Um, this is what happens naturally at the giant's graves. Yes. And here we have uh, um, an incredible uh, result we had uh, uh, with a small child, she was a nine years old girl, and you have the x-rays of her um, 
for arm on, on the upper um, picture uh, you can see the status quo before the therapy and as you can see uh, on her bone uh, there's a very big hole uh, she had this um, strange uh, um, a sickness which is called uh, this is a cancer um, of the bones yeah yeah uh, um osteomyelitis osteomyelitis so um the the bone uh, is not uh, like eaten up by yeah the bone um, is not uh, um calcifying okay uh, so the calcium uh, in, was lost um medical team decided to to cut the arm actually in order uh, to prevent the sickness to um, eat up all the body um, so um, of course um, parents were very very um, worried, worried about so that much. so they yeah. decided to do um, the impossible <laughs> try the impossible try yes. the impossible uh, um, of course many times when people don't believe they just try uh, only if uh, you are on the in, in Italy in Italian we say the last beach <laughs> so there's nothing nothing else to try <laughs> and actually um, she tried and she had uh, a 40 minute session um, at the giant's grave for nine consecutive days, um, exposing her forearm to this flux of energy and waiting to see what happens. Um, as you can see, um, the bones of the, um, up, um, the upper picture are also more transparent so really the bone was not calcifying enough um, on the lower picture you can see uh, the x-rays that were done before the, the surgery which of course uh, was decided not to be done it, uh, the surgery was cancelled because uh, um, the bone was completely healed um yeah, thanks this, to the this kind of um exposure energy. exposure to this um uh, energy this uh, sub, uh yeah. subatomic particles which yes. are produced inside the giant's grave yeah maybe you can go back a picture or two just to show where you can actually mm. sit down So you see the hemicycle here, and uh, so the best way is to sit uh, over there, to sit on the stones there, and... Um, yeah. On the front part of yeah, the Janus grave. Yes, yeah. because on the this one was the no, part, no, 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 uh, no. this part was um, used for barriers. Yeah, yes. In the front. In the front. You sit there and you, you just... You can put your shoulder yes. on the stones. And it's very comfortable and you just uh, absorb the energy there. You don't have to do anything else but absorbing the energy. For about half an hour, uh, 40 minutes every mm -hmm. day. Let's say at least uh, 9, 10 days. Then it depends mm -hmm. on the problem you have. We have to say that um, okay, in ancient days they would do it five days and five nights because uh, to them this was like a pilgrimage. People would leave their village and would go to these places. But nowadays, with our lifestyle, the best thing to do is to go daily and uh, sit there for uh, you know, in between half an hour and 40 minutes. 45 minutes and you can get really a very good result it is a kind of energy that works simultaneously 
on four different levels. One is the physical level, then the emotional, the mental and the spiritual level. That is uh, the energetic uh, level, the, the level of our uh, energy field. And because energy is anyway clever, goes exactly where you need it, um, and it will fill and nourish uh, the parts that are lacking energy. Uh, it is also um, a kind of cleansing, very deep cleansing of all the organs. And um, after a while, your organs will start to emit the right frequency and uh, everything will be in balance again and it is all very natural so there was this knowledge in ancient days that mother earth could be healing we know uh, nowadays that uh, there is an average um, concerning um, the energy uh, transmitted by uh, Earth, and that is uh, in between 50 and 80 megahertz. Um, when we decided to check up the giant's graves also with tools, we decided to use the frequency meter mm -hmm. in order to check up if uh, at that point of the soil the ground um, there were uh, special frequencies different from the normal value of 50 80 megahertz mm -hmm. and this is what we actually found out because mm -hmm. at the giant's grave you have a frequency that is 437.5 megahertz, megahertz. Yes. so it is almost 10 times the normal value. Um, right, so um, I don't know if there are any mm -hmm. comments or people watching, from people watching, if we can have a look, if there are any questions. Is it possible? Mm, of course. Yes. Pyramid in Bosnia to heal and get better. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rebecca. Uh, mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. Nice to see you here. Yes, it's true. People uh, are going in Bosnia to heal and get better. And um, the person who discovered those pyramids uh, did the same kind of uh, work that uh, we did and we have been doing because we are still doing it as well here in Sardinia. We started about uh, 25 years ago to research about these healing energies here in Sardinia. And in Bosnia, the person who discovered those pyramids uh, has found out that there are uh, special energies there as well. Um, okay, and then Rebecca, you are saying that you have been researching the work of Dr. Tennant, who writes a book mm. called Healing is Voltage. Uh, which explains how cells need a voltage to regenerate new cells. Mm -mm. That is very interesting. Yes, yeah. Mm -mm. And uh, it really is in connection with our study as well. Yeah, there is, we need uh, to rebalance uh, the energy inside our body, the frequency, and this is exactly what the giant's grave does in Sardinia. It, yeah. it is exactly this. So, if you are lucky enough to come here once a year, or even better, twice a year, and have two cycles, uh, you will really feel much better. Your immune system and uh, your bones, uh, 
and you feel really much stronger. And actually, there are people who uh, do exactly this in Sardinia, coming yeah. every year, uh, not only uh, you know for the sea, but also to absorb this uh, very beneficial energy. So um, the ancient knew uh, exactly what to do in, mm -hmm. uh, with the energies of Mother Earth, which is extraordinary, I think. And it is a kind of knowledge that we think uh, we should go back to. Um, yeah. Yes. Um, using uh, natural energies to keep healthy. No. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the problem of connections that you are probably experiencing, but uh, this is the line we have. Uh, it's, uh, we have many tourists now, so uh, probably uh, the video is moving a bit, but we'll try to do yes. our best yes. and see. Um, there are some comments uh, we uh, cannot read about planets, um, but actually, yes, of course, as, as we saw it, uh, you saw it earlier, um, many of these uh, monuments are aligned to um, moon and uh, sun phenomenon, oh, which oh. actually can change and amplify the yeah, energies yeah. of the monuments and um, they also take part in the recharge of the monument and the effectiveness of um, those monuments on our healing process. Yes, and we actually have to say that when you go there to a giant's grave and it is your first time, you haven't tried anything like that before, and you just sit in silence and you feel the place, you will actually feel something happening in your body. Either you will feel very easily relaxed or um, you will feel a kind of tickling in your hands or a change in uh, your body temperature. Sometimes you feel uh, cooler, sometimes you feel warmer. Uh, sometimes you really feel uh, energy f um, flowing in your body very easily or you may even feel sometimes a kind of heaviness or um, suddenly um, a kind of um, headache but just because you have to adjust to the energy for example or sometimes you feel your heart beating faster as well and these are all reactions to our body adjusting to uh, the energy. And it is really impossible not to have any kind of perceptions. So even people who are not used to uh, physical exercises or to meditation or yoga, um, sometimes even people are quite skeptical. When they uh, reach a giant's grave and they sit and they close their eyes and they feel, they will actually feel something uh, happening. Because the energy is so strong that it is impossible not to perceive it. And the best way is always to test it personally, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, okay. So, um, we have to say that um, mm -hmm. During this month of uh, um, August, we will have a special event mm -hmm. on the 14th of August, uh, where we, would, uh, we are going to um, a sacred well, and we are going to experience uh, this kind of ritual, which in ancient times was called incubation uh, rite, incubation ritual. So we will sleep... Uh, in a place of very high energy in order to absorb that energy during the night and see if we can get mm. any kind of mm. a special dream or a message uh, you know from other mm. planes of existence and so this will be on the 14th of august mm. so if you happen to be in sardinia and you feel like trying this kind of experience you can contact mm. us and we very happy 
to but, make you join but the event. also if you have uh, ancient monuments uh, of course, uh, we um, someone should uh, a dowser should uh, check out if the monument is uh, positive and if it that monument can have these kind of effects. But uh, I will suggest you if you have some monuments similar to this one you saw around your house, around your uh, places. Um, that um, where you know that uh, healing rituals took place, uh, please uh, go there and try to feel your body, mm -hmm. uh, feel your sensations, mm -hmm. and see if something happens um, to you. For example, um, many French people uh, do that in Karnak, at the Karnak um, Menir al alignment. Um, they do that uh, um, really for uh, um, to get an healing and uh, if you do that uh, um, the suggestion is this one actually sometimes with those kind of energies um, you need to have uh, a release of the um, of the disease so sometimes the um, the pain, some muscular pain, for example, yes. uh, some aches, uh, um, some aches, aches, uh, mm, aches uh, can uh, um, emerge. Mm -mm. And please continue to do the therapy because uh, actually um, um, the sickness, the disease is healing. It is not something negating for you um, this, our cells are just adjusting um, to and trying to expel the, the disease um, in order to get a healing sometimes uh, you have uh, uh, some um, yes. pejorative effects worsening. Worse, worsening some worsening Yes. So do continue to <laughs> go to the um, special site because it is having effects. Mm -mm. Yes, as for as for us, uh, as we uh, are both um, therapists, natural therapists, uh, we can actually help uh, the people who want to go and have sessions at the Giant's Graves to check uh, their balance and difference uh, while they are going under this process of uh, sessions mm -hmm. at the giant's graves. And it is very interesting to see the person first, when the person first arrives, and then after uh, the healing sessions. Yeah, so it is a very interesting uh, topic, uh, quite new, but it is mm -hmm. uh, nice to read that there are doctors uh, now starting really to uh, understand better this kind of healing, like uh, uh, Rebecca is writing about Dr. Tennant. And uh, yes, these places help with cell regeneration and with uh, a complete renewal and regenerations of our body and our uh, subtle body, our aura and so on. But we will continue this topic um, in a new episode. Um, here on Bridges of Light. But now, for now, we have to say goodbye. We have mm -hmm. to stop a bit earlier tonight because uh, at 10 we have to start the Italian um, live and we are going to have a ritual uh, connecting us tonight to the moon. And for this reason, we have to get ready for uh, the ritual. But we will be very happy to see you again here uh, on Bridges of Light International.